reading through the Bible, Exodus 17, water from the rock. The whole Israelite community set out from the desert of sin, traveling from place to place as the Lord commanded. They camped at Rephidim, but there was no water for the people to drink. So they quarreled with Moses and said, Give us water to drink. Moses replied, Why do you quarrel with me? Why do you put the Lord to the test? But the people were thirsty for water there, and they grumbled against Moses. They said, Why did you bring us up out of Egypt to make us and our children and livestock die of thirst? Then Moses cried out to the Lord, What am I to do with these people? They are almost ready to stone me. The Lord answered Moses, Walk on ahead of the people. Take with you some of the elders of Israel and take in your hand the staff with which you had struck the Nile and go. I will stand there before you by the rock at Horeb. Strike the rock and water will come out of it for the people to drink. So Moses did this in the sight of the elders of Israel, and he called the place Massa and Meribah, because the Israelites quarreled, and because they tested the Lord, saying, Is the Lord among us or not? The Amalekites came and attacked the Israelites at Rephidim. Moses said to Joshua, Choose some of our men and go out to fight the Amalekites. Tomorrow I will stand on top of the hill with a staff of God in my hands. So Joshua fought the Amalekites as Moses had ordered, and Moses, Aaron, and Hur went to the top of the hill. As long as Moses held up his hands, the Israelites were winning, but whenever he lowered his hands, the Amalekites were winning. When Moses' hands grew tired, they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat on it. Aaron and Hur held his hands up, one on one side and one on the other, so that his hands remained steady till sunset. So Joshua overcame the Amalekite army with the sword. Then the Lord said to Moses, Write this on a scroll as something to be remembered, and make sure that Joshua hears it, because I will completely erase the memory of the Amalekites from under heaven. Moses built an altar and called it, The Lord is my banner. He said, for hands were lifted up to the throne of the Lord. The Lord will be at war against the Amalekites from generation to generation. Now, in the beginning of the chapter, we are told that they are without water. So Moses is told to take some of the elders with him and the staff that he had used previously, and he is to strike the rock and the rock will issue water. So this is the first time that Moses strikes the rock. The next time, he doesn't look like he is supposed to, and that is the sin that keeps him from entering the land of Israel. Now we are told here that there are two places are called Massa and Meribah, and that means testing and quarreling. And many of the places on the journey of the Israelites are named after what they do. So often they will complain to the Lord that he is bringing them out here to destroy them, when all the time what he wants to do is to take them from Egypt and move them into the land of Canaan. We also have the Amalekites who attack Israel, 
And here Joshua fights them. He leads the army against them, and they defeat the Amalekites. But the Amalekites are going to be a thorn in the side of the Israelites for a long time. And you notice in verse 14 that Moses is told to write this on a scroll as something to remember and make sure that Joshua hears it because there is a task that Joshua is going to have to do in the future. So Moses built an altar there and called it, The Lord is my banner. And, and this is because hands were lifted up to the throne of the Lord. So this is another of the altars that Moses builds to worship the Lord.